Hey everyone, I made it back here to our speared friend because this shit is bothering me, not being able to kill him. I've made it through all like these caves and all that, I've beaten bosses, and this dude is escaping my wrath. Well, not for much longer. See, the idea here is to kill him. This dude is a cheater, by the way. The fact that you can Mikiri him. Oh, fuck. And he doesn't even... Oh, like, give a shit. Okay. Oh, man. This is probably gonna be a no-talking... Uh, no talking fight. Oh, fuck. Damn, I gotta pull back a little bit. Okay, this is not going well. I'm down to two healing gourds. I've not dealt jack shit in terms of damage to him. Fuck. This dude is insanely difficult. Let me tell you that he is. I always fall for it. I always wanna counter when he Mikiris. Or when I get a Mikiri. I never managed to do it. Come on. Oh, you can just kind of spam it sometimes. I really thought I was blocking that. Okay. He's very, he's very, very, very difficult, let me tell you that. Okay, well, I think what I'm gonna do is I'll cut out the journey back, because damn, it takes a long time. I wonder if I can fight him without attracting the other enemies, because such a pain in the ass. Having to, like, constantly go through this giant gauntlet so we'll try that and see what happens of course I'm gonna kill some of them but those like big ogres and all that I'm gonna try leaving alone might completely not work I'm gonna have to probably fight him a little bit further on up So yeah, just go through these dudes. If it doesn't work, I'll just retreat, because... I ain't playing the multiple enemy game, you know, that's... It's in this game, that game doesn't work. Because it might just cut down a lot of the travel time. Which is really the problem with this guy. Having to do this every single time? Oh, are you kidding me? Maybe it's not possible. Could very well be the case. So a lot of the times they like don't let you avoid enemies. Well, at least. It's either fight them all or screw you. But maybe here that's going to be different. Stab him. 
and go. Let's go over here. As good a place as any to fight him. You know what? A sugar is needed. That's a sweep. How the hell did I avoid damage there? Oh, damn it. I wonder if you can push him off. Nice. Thank you, tree. As in, fuck you, tree. Nice. Holy shit, the Ongo Sugar. I have four beads. Which means I can increase my vitality. God damn it. That was not easy. That dude... I think that dude counted as a mini-boss. And that was for sure the hardest mini-boss so far. Uh, this Ongo Sugar. I should use these sugars more often because they legit do help. Oh man, that felt satisfying. Blasted him. Got the... I got the attack pattern down by the end. He was very slow. Uh... It was even possible to just like kind of dodge around him as well a lot of the times. Okay, we're gonna enhance physical attributes. Doesn't look like it's increasing much. Let's see what we can acquire in terms of skills. May their deflection, may their combat art, shadow rush. Sounds fancy. Maximum number of spirit emblems held. Okay, what do we have here? He prosthetics while midair. And we also have... I think we might get this, the grappling hook attack. Increases the healing effects of recovery item. Hell, yeah. Alright. I'm happy with that. I am happy with that. No, battle memories. So, like, I'm assuming the difference between... Uh, this is the one, right? Yeah. Between, like, a mini boss and a normal boss is that the normal bosses give battle memories. It's kind of what my feeling is. Pretty sure that is the difference. I wonder what's at the bottom of Ashina Castle here. Because now I think I might go on, but you could descend from the other uh, Sculptor's Idol. Yeah, this is not where we gotta go. Am I? Okay. <laughs> got, a stu got stuck a little bit. It's all good. I knew it. Those bong motherfuckers are here again. I hate these dudes. Can we just establish that? People said that you can knock them out of the air. With a uh, shuriken. But I've not been able to do it so far. Holy shit. What the hell? Look at this place. Oh, are they whistling to like warn people? Okay, a little bit of frame lag. 
There's no such thing as frame lag, there's just lag. There's a lot to render. Oh, and this is the coolest part of Souls games always, getting to see where you've been and where you're gonna go in the future. I don't know if we've been there. There's some doink treasure here. Because there were people up there for sure. Ganges sugar. Uh-huh. It looks like... No, well, that for sure would kill me. If I descended. But maybe not. There's a sculptor's idol. Weird. Where is this? Is this a new one? I think it is. Holy shit, old grave. The question is, <laughs> there's no way to get back up, is there? Damn it. Damn, it is the old grave. Dragon's blood droplet. So we will be going there. Shit, that's kind of bad that you can't get back up. I feel like that's where the game wants me to progress. If I get a warning message, maybe I'll get the third. Little scoundrel. There's gonna be a dude that looks like a raccoon. Sorry, boys. Sometimes you gotta... If you gotta go, you gotta go. I don't know if I should even be going this way. Oh, fuck. That was well deserved, to be fair. To be fair on myself. To just straight up let myself get shot with a cannon. I don't know, I don't know. This game is so open. I like it. I like how open it is, but I'm kind of getting lost. I feel like this is not where I should be going. Or not where the game wants me to go. The old grave. Maybe the Ashina Castle, like the downstairs area, leads here as well. I'll check it out. I'm just like so curious to explore. And then there was the top of the tower as well. That looked like a boss fight. A proper boss fight. Not like a mini boss. Oh, shit. I forgot you're here. Damn, you deal a lot of damage. I swear I'm trying to Mikiri. I'm not being an idiot. There we go. There we go. Let me carry this fool. Yeah, this place. This is interesting. There's a lot of dudes down there. How am I gonna do this? Oh wait, but that one is the strong one. The other ones are like normal schmucks. Yeah, just come out here. One down. I can deal with these dudes, no problem.
Told you. All right, new area. What the hell? E liver here as well. They're really pushing with this lightning stuff. I'm guessing it's gonna be like something with the next area. Sabi Maru, an ancient Kodachi short sword. It's bell modded with bluish rust. Blade modded. Okay. Resist the inhuman. In oh. That's interesting. Okay. Gokan's sugar. I always want to say Gohan's sugar, but it's not quite that. It's not quite that. Oh, I think I I think I know where this is gonna lead. This is the main entrance, isn't it? Yes, it is. And <laughs> whoa, that's a cool animation. I like how he opened that door. Because normally these idiots have like, whoa, I mean Souls characters, they're like, they're like so effortless. In opening giant doors, at least he showed a little bit of effort. So I'm assuming wherever this area leads, uh, this bonfire is more convenient. I said bonfire. Oh, hello. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. And he has undies on. Very interesting. He just showed me his dick. He was so impressed by me. Unless this leads out to the old grave as well. And there's some interesting ass areas here in this game. Let me tell you that. It's a giant lake. I'm just knocking over hella shit. Hmm. There's a spear dude. There was a spear dude. Heavy coin purse, nice. I don't think so. Oh, I know where this is. And this is the old grave. Okay, okay, okay. I guess I took the... Yeah, I took the alternate path down here. Makes sense. Makes sense. But hey, at least the idea of the place is coming together in my head. So, that's good. If nothing else, there's benefit to exploring. Holy shit, the frame. Z. Eavesdrop. Don't have any assault. Okay. That's why people are being screwed over. I'll give you some salt. You're gonna be salty when I'm done with you. This is for sure a dude. As in a main dude. A boss dude. He's not? Thought he was. Come on. I mean, he kind of is. Sorry, buddy. You're dead. It's all good. It's all good. And watch me get shot. <laughs> watch me get shot by this idiot. And get killed. Ichimonji his ass. 
Okay. Possession balloon. People always tell me I should be using these balloons. Okay, this is a new area as well. I think it's better to go inside the grass. What the hell? What the fuck? Are you fucking kidding me? Monkeys? Well, talk about enemies I did not expect. Are oh, you've got to be shitting me? I cannot believe it. This is actual monkeys as enemies. They look slightly stronger than the dogs. I will give them that. Holy shit, this game is crazy. Okay. Mibulon of spirit. Oh, restore spirit emblems. Really doesn't feel like I should be going to any of these places. So far. Does these feel like late game areas? Uh, just from how you get to them. I don't know. Sculptor's idol found. The great serpent shrine. Oh, another serpent. Dang. Okay. I know, again, I'm all over the place, but I'm kind of enjoying exploring and kind of seeing what's where and mapping out the place. That's kind of the idea, I'm guessing. Because it's cool. It's cool. This game is very, very open, and I like how open it is. Uh, it's daunting, but... I feel like, you know... One of the main complaints, I think with both Bloodborne and Dark Souls 3, is that they were incredibly linear. And this game doesn't feel like that at all. As witnessed by you watching me play. Okay. I knew this was a boss. Or a cutscene. Not sure if it's a boss, but... Oh. Oh, it's Emma. Wait, she's working both sides? I don't know. The lore. Oh, it's Genchiro, or what is... Yeah, something like that. That's his name, I think. Yeah, the kid is here. Oh, that's what he wants. Genichiro. Almost. Oh, <laughs> she ended just dropping in. He timed that, didn't he? For dramatic effect. This is gonna be very difficult. Uh oh. Uh oh, Spaghetti O. He's gonna be difficult as a motherfucker. Unless he's not, because. So yeah, okay, that's the thing. So you gotta kill him permanently before the kid can pass on. Whoa. That was a Makiri for sure. Okay, this is the learn the boss fight type deal. What is that? Is that... It's not a grab, is it? 
Didn't look like you could Mikiri that. Genin, Shiro, Shina. So he's like the son of what's his name? Ishin. Look at that dodge though. Yeah. Holy fuck. Okay. So this is basically the tutorial boss version of him. Okay. I jumped there. Because I remember him having a jump sweep. I didn't even understand that mechanic in the tutorial. Okay, that's phase one for you. Not as bad as I thought he would be. I know. Yeah. I knew it was going to change up. As these dudes tend to do. What if he ends up being really easy? <laughs> That's cool. That's a cool combo. He doesn't deal too much damage though. Mikiri his ass. Okay, pull back. This feels like such a ninja thing to do. To sp uh, like kind of throw out three shurikens. Okay, he's dead. That was insanely easy. Maybe this is just like kind of a story battle. Yeah, maybe it's not meant to be difficult. You deserve better. This is so cool. This game is cool. Is he getting naked? Oh fuck no! That's the lightning thing. Oh, I was wondering what was gonna be the deal. Ah, uh, it's gonna be him. Shit, he has a third phase. God damn it. Whoa, that's a grab. Okay. I got your message. How the fuck did the weather change this quickly? Okay, you can dodge the lightning. That's what I was afraid of. Shit, that's a sweep. Whoa. Iframes. Not saying I didn't get lucky there. Yeah, I know it's my screw up. Could have dodged that easily. He still doesn't seem that difficult. Kiri. No. Yes. Oh, the Mikiri. Kill him. Holy shit. Oh, I cannot believe it. I got him first try. Make sure. Okay, I'm actually recording. That wasn't that bad. Holy shit. Battle memory of an extraordinary foe. Yeah. This is the code dictates the wolf swore vengeance on Geninchiro Ashina. Blunt smoke ninjutsu. Turns the spring blood of a victim to smoke. 
Activate after backstab death blow. Allows one to retake the element of... Oh, okay, that's cool. That wasn't that difficult. Okay, we got new... Stuff. Yeah, he was... He was mostly similar to his tutorial phase. Which means probably beating him on subsequent playthroughs is possible. I don't know what happens. Holy shit, I cannot believe it. First try on this guy. Hey, Emma. She's the waifu of this game for sure. That is Emma, right? I'm not like confusing them. Oh, come on. You cannot be... You cannot be serious. If he has another phase, I'm throwing this controller out the window. Oh no. He has a fourth phase. Oh no. Okay, he doesn't. <laughs> oh, thank fuck. He's gonna peace out, isn't he? Oh. Man. That was... I was a little bit worried there. I'm not gonna lie. I was really worried, actually. <laughs> cool. So my understanding, going Vati a little bit here, is that there is two versions of this resurrection. The one resurrection given by the kid, which is on us, which kind of doesn't corrupt. And this rejuvenating water, which kind of turns the enemies kind of monstrous. You can see it on like Ashina, Genichiro, that he's like, kind of fucked up. That's my question as well, waifu. Oh, okay. Oh, so he's not actually evil. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, he's downstairs. It makes sense. So it's only the sun who wants to create like zombie soldiers. I can do this, can't I? Born a peasant, Genin Shirashina was taken in by the Ashina after after his mother's death. With his country on the brink of defeat, Genin Shiro took to heretical arts and mastered the lightning of Tomoe. Such heresy may be the key to saving her. I see. Again, it makes sense. So this Ishin guy is not actually evil. Only his son is kind of fanatical. Are you kidding me? There's another one. Okay. The reunion we've been waiting for. For what is this? Episode 14, I think. What up, kid? Kind of figured that one out. Saw that as well. Oh, 
Uh-huh. Will you help me achieve this aim? Help Koro obey the iron code and protect Kura. Wait. <laughs> Aren't those exactly the same thing? So what's the difference here? We're gonna help. Yeah, we'll, we'll help you, of course. Oh. Oh yeah, the iron code is to protect him. It's just, just not giving me a choice. Well then, fuck you. Why do I not get a choice? I thought that... Huh. He said father, I cannot break the iron code. There must be... That's weird. It's weird. I don't know what's going on. I don't want to answer because I feel like I'm... Like, it's not letting me choose. Which means I'm probably missing something. Yeah. I don't want to choose. Not yet. I don't know what I've not done. Uh, yeah. Well, obviously, probably this here in the past. Going by the logical progression of areas. That's probably, we're probably meant to do this first, don't we? Not... I don't know. I don't know. But I don't want to answer because that type of shit, when Souls games ask you these types of questions, it's usually determining an ending. And, you know, I don't know. People have told me, I do know that there's four endings in this game. And, you know, now I'm on the lookout for any possibilities of where the game might kind of diverge paths and that feels like a path where the game might diverge anyways i'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here i don't want to spend not spend a lot, it's kind of shitty thing to say but lady butterfly is down there and she's difficult i feel like she's gonna take more effort than ashina so before i struggle for an entire episode i'm gonna wrap up this one because i already beat a major boss here so yeah, I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Sekiro. And I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.